Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and I'm excited we're starting cycle three, and I'm excited to go over this year's science experiments with you guys. So for cycle three, week one, we just have one experiment that we're doing. It's number 68 in your Van Cleves guide um, to awesome, magical, bizarre, and incredible experiments. So that is on page 37. And we're going to be doing blinking. So this is a fun one. It's pretty easy to start off the cycle. Um, it might take a little bit of prep ahead of time, um, but you'll need, um, for each student, you'll need two pieces of paper cut to two inches by four inches. You'll need, each student will need um, a pencil and you'll need some uh, clear tape. And uh, I think that's about it. So we're gonna be talking about the persistence of vision. And it's like an optical illusion and how our eyes see moving pictures. And so um, I like to just take a look at uh, Nicole Liam's science scripts beforehand. And sometimes I highlight things or underline things. Um, she's got some good questions, just things I wanna make sure uh, that I cover. So um, you can go over with your students the scientific method so we like to sing um, a song with that. So the scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. And so um, some questions you can have is, okay, how do our eyes work? And can we play tricks on our eyes? Have they ever um, seen an optical illusion where it looks like something's there, but it's not, or something's moving? Um, so what do we still need to find out? Like how, you know, why do our eyes do this? Um, so we're gonna do the experiment and kind of see what happens and then talk about um, what goes on. So we've got our two strips of paper and then the Van Cleef's guide says to draw a line across um, the top and the bottom, one inch from the top and the bottom. So depending on the age of your students, you might wanna do all this preparation ahead of time and just have each student have a piece of two pieces of paper like this. Um, so on the first piece of paper, they're going to draw a face, and the first face is going to have um, one eye open and one eye closed. So see my awesome face. You don't have to be an awesome artist, but just draw a picture of a face where it looks like it's winking at you, and then you're going to tape that piece to your table with your clear tape. I'm gonna do that real quick. And then you're going to lay the second piece that you have not drawn anything on. You are going to tape it directly on top of, you're gonna line up those lines and tape just the top part of the second piece to the table. And then you should be able to see your face that you drew kind of through, you can kind of press on it and you can kind of see the outline of the face. So you're gonna copy the shape of your face with your pencil. And I'll do this real quick. But you're going to make both eyes open. Yeah. We want them to look pretty similar because we're going to play a trick on our eyes. Okay. So there's my little face and she's got both eyes open this time. Then you're going to take a pencil and you're going to tape this top piece of paper to the pencil right there at the bottom with your tape. your pencil tape to the bottom of the page. So, it's just to roll up this top piece of paper to the line, to your top line. And then you're gonna put, uh, lay it down and put both hands on it and you're gonna roll it up and down really fast. So, I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna see if you guys can see. 
So I'm gonna do it like this, and then we're gonna go back and forth like that. And it looks like the the face is winking at us. But they do it fast enough, and it looks like it's winking at you. So why does this happen? And it's called persistence of vision. So you know, beforehand you can get their hypothesis. Okay, when we do this, is it going to change? Are we going to see both pictures? What is going to happen? Um, but it's an obstacle illusion. So persistence of vision means that whatever you see with your eyes persists or it stays on your retina for a little longer than it's actually there. And that is really helpful. So that picture that we're seeing, whatever we see stays on our eyes a little bit longer than it's actually there. And so it looks like it's winking, it's moving. And um, one of the cool things that's on um, the Quilliam Science Course is that that you could talk about, you know, like the first cartoons or the, the first movies, they were actually just a bunch of pictures. And that's kind of how movies are made now too, which is a bunch of images, still shots, and they move them quickly. And so that persistence of vision with our eyes allows us to just it observe, like it looks like things are moving when actually it's a bunch of still shots um, just being shown to us really quickly and our brains just interpret that as, okay, it's it's just like a moving picture. And so um, that's really cool. It's kind of a neat, um, quick science experiment for week one, um, talking about the persistence of vision. So have fun with this one and I'll talk to you guys soon.